A lot of people are looking forward to the opening of the new Alabama Coast Zoo in Gulf Shores. But it's not quite ready yet. Still, though, there are some new additions already taking up residence on the property off of County Road 6. News 5's Debbie Williams has that story now on the Baldwin County Beat. Yeah, there are a couple of new things here at the new zoo, and one of them's pretty big. Say hello to Benjamin. Hey, Benjamin. Eight-year-old Benjamin, fondly referred to as Big Ben, and his companion, four-year-old Akela, are already in their home at the brand new location of the Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. We have a brand new giraffe exhibit and giraffe barn. It's a little cool this morning, so they're inside, but uh, we're looking forward to introducing those to our guests also. The gentle giants seem to be acclimating to their new environment quite well and are getting plenty of special treatment with hopes the pair will start a family. We hope so. All right. so <laughs> That's the goal. This is the final stretch of construction before the new location opens in February, and that will happen under the leadership of new zoo director Joel Hamilton. It comes from the Audubon Zoo in New Orleans. We do uh, aim to continue that uh, sort of intimate experience that you have at the uh, other facility um, where people have uh, opportunity to talk to staff and have um, unique encounters with animals. Big Ben and Akela are sure to be a part of that unique experience. On the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, WKRG News 5.